Now, let us discuss about division algorithm for polynomials. We already know that cubic polynomial has at most three zeros. So, for any given cubic polynomial, when one zero is given, we can find the remaining zeros. For better understanding, let us consider an example of cubic polynomial as shown on screen. Suppose, we know only one of its zeros, say 1. Then x minus 1 will be a factor of the given polynomial. Now, the other two zeros of the polynomial can be obtained by dividing it with the given factor. So, by dividing the given polynomial with x minus 1, we obtain quotient as shown on screen. Now, we will find the factors of x square minus 2x minus 3 by splitting the middle term as shown on screen. Thus, the three zeros of the cubic polynomial are 1 minus 1, 3. Let us learn about the division of a polynomial by another. Example problems. Divide 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 by x plus 2. Here we observe that the dividend and divisor are already in standard form. Now divide dividend with the divisor. Step 1. To obtain the first term of the quotient, divide the highest degree term of the dividend, that is 2x square, by the highest degree term of the divisor, that is x, we get 2x. Now, multiply each term of the divisor with 2x, we get 2x square plus 4x. On subtracting them as shown, we get the remainder as minus x plus 1. Step 2. To obtain the second term of the quotient, divide the newly obtained dividend with the divisor. We get minus 1 as second term of the quotient. Now, multiply minus 1 with the divisor. We get minus x minus 2. Subtracting this from the new dividend, we get the remainder as 3. Example, divide 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 by 1 plus 2x plus x square. Initially, we have to arrange the dividend and divisor in decreasing order of their degrees. As already dividend is in decreasing order, arrange divisor also in decreasing order as shown on screen. Now, divide dividend with the divisor. Step 1. To obtain the first term of the quotient, divide the highest degree term of the dividend, that is 3x cube, by the highest degree term of the divisor, that is x square, then we get 3x. Now, multiply each term of the divisor with 3x, we get 3x cube plus 6x square plus 3x. On subtracting from dividend, we get the remainder as shown on screen. Step 2. To obtain the second term of the quotient, divide the highest degree term of newly obtained dividend with highest degree term of divisor. We get minus 5 as second term of the quotient. Now, multiply minus 5 with the divisor. We get minus 5x square minus 10x minus 5. Subtracting this from the new dividend, we get the remainder as 9x plus 10. Step 3. Now, we observe that the degree of 9x plus 10 is less than the degree of the divisor x squared plus 2x plus 1. Hence, the division process cannot be continued further. Therefore, the quotient is 3x minus 5 and the remainder is 9x plus 10. We know that the relation between dividend, quotient and divisor is as shown on screen. Now, for verification, Substitute divisor, quotient and remainder in the RHS of above formula. Thus we obtain the same dividend.